Well, we're certainly not looking at, um, from, from the NCA's point of view, how do, how do we monetize this great opportunity? But at the same time, you've got to recognize that, that for us, uh, this is mostly about how do you make sure the integrity of the games, how do you fit this into a collegiate model of sport, how do you, how do you uh, work with your media partners who are obviously and appropriately trying to figure out what does this mean for us as, as media companies. Uh, and so we've been working with, uh, with Congress, with NFL and other professional sports leagues. How can we create um, some a, a national set of guidelines, if you will, guardrails to try and you know, keep from having 50 different sets of rules? How do you create a system that will provide uh, for a, a clearinghouse sort of model, if you will, on, on um, inappropriate behavior that uh, a number of businesses are in right now that we can we can track on and pay attention to the integrity and inappropriate betting that's going on. What can or can't be the, the defined variables around prop bets, uh, around what can and can't be bet on. I mean, are we really going to have prop bets based on the pitcher in the Little League World Series? I mean, is that is that something America really wants? So there's some of that debate still going on. We're mostly focused on how do we uh, craft our rules, our policies in a way to protect the integrity of the game, recognizing when, a, when an NFL player misses a field goal and somebody loses money, that guy goes home. When one of our players misses a field goal, he goes to class the next day, and he's sitting you know, on, in class with somebody that just lost 500 bucks on a bet. Uh, it's a, they're, they're completely different um, relationships. So the